Got our rams all packed out. Leaving sheep camp and heading back for the airstrip. These three guys. It's been a short trip, but a really good one, successful one. First time sheep hunting was pretty amazing. We don't bring food for the guides, so they have to find their own food. Now, Barry, <laughs> stay away. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. Left they to rot, all the weeds that they grew are never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath for the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows. Jay and I finished up a pretty awesome sheep hunt we've been talking about for a lot of years. We killed two rams that were together. We're guessing they're nine-year-old rams. We'll see what they say when we check them in. But just super cool hunt. We came up here a couple days before opener. Killed these two rams on opening day and packed them back to camp. Now we're up here at the airstrip, but I guess down in Anchorage, the weather is just not good. Up here, it's beautiful. No clouds, sun shining through every now and then, but it's no good for them to take off, I guess. But so we're just gonna hang out up here until the weather clears down there and Keep the meat good, keep the hides good, keep them dry, and sit here and stare at these beauties for a while. Um, we ended up getting up there and Jay, he was after this heavy broomer and uh, the two rams switched positions and he ended up shooting this ram, and, uh, which left it wide open for me to shoot the broomer that he'd been looking at for three days, two and a half days. So, thank you for that. <laughs> anyway. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> right there. You are welcome. So we're probably going to make a cool double pedestal mount somehow of these two. And, uh, yeah, just to kind of remember our first sheep hunt. Not going to be the last. I think it's Saturday. We shot our rams on Thursday. And yesterday packing them to an airstrip and weather's been pretty bad down in Anchorage so Jeremy hasn't been able to fly um, I got a little board sitting in camp this morning so I'm hiking back around where we we shot our sheep way up on that dark mountain that black looking mountain so I just decided to 
come back around and, and now these just do some glassing looking around. Other than that, it's freaking awesome. I'm gonna see if I can spot some of the moose we found on Wednesday and maybe look at some more sheep and just enjoy the time while we're stuck up here. I passed Travis and Liam and Sean and Rick. And they were on their way back up to the airstrip. Oh, well, an hour ago, Rick shot a nice caribou yesterday. And yeah, we're all just kind of hanging out, waiting for it to clear up in Anchorage so Jeremy can fly us out. All the guys down here, um, Liam, Sean, Travis, and Rick, they all loaded up with me to go get a closer look. And we actually climbed up that mountain right there to the top of it. Got a closer look at him and he was a nice bull. But those guys have been packing out sheep and Rick's caribou for the last two days. and. That would have been by far the worst pack out. So, kind of wanted to shoot him, but getting him out by myself would have taken three days. And I really didn't want to put those guys through it. So, chose not to shoot him. We stayed up there, lasted a little longer, and saw Another caribou, some sheep, a black bear. Found a really nice moose shed down in the bottom. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Just an awesome day. It's about 9 p.m. right now, and I'm hiking back up to the airstrip. Another great day in Alaska. My legs are a little sore, but that's part of it. Man, it's, it's pretty up here though. Had a good day. I'm ready to go have a Chili Mac mountain house. Pounce on him. Pounce on him. <laughs> See that ram up there? He might be legal by age. He's just short of full curl. Full curl. Yeah, I might be able to fill it. <laughs>
take off into the wind. I tell you what, that made me switch. I thought he was just going to go crazy with the hook. <laughs> 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 I thought he was going to try and go out that way. <laughs> I thought he was going to try and go out that way. But then he was going that way. <laughs> I'll go and see them in Hamilton. Maybe there isn't a Yeah, I saw it. This one's hard to shoot to see. Hey, that was a quick turn. He might be taking all the caribou shit. I don't know, he said people first thing. <laughs> One time Chase didn't. My face though was just like bam into the middle. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
definitely riding with Doug. Sealed, getting the ram sealed so we can take them out of here.
Jim and Paul. Swap tip. Clam tip. Mm. So. So 33 and 30. Or 34 and 3. So. Okay. And then. Care where it puts one? I don't know. Mm. Alright, we'll go ahead and put it there. Just below the drawer, just below the printer. Mm. All right, you're all set. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. That was day four of sheep hunting in Alaska. Actually, day four, five, six, something like that. Uh, you know, the previous video, if you didn't see it, we shot two rams. So this video, as you saw, we were we were getting them back to the airstrip, um, doing some more exploring. So mostly just trying to get out. The weather was bad in Anchorage. We had great weather where we were. So. I just took off and had a caribou tag in my pocket, so I was going to look for caribou. You, you probably saw that bull. Um, pretty decent bull. I was really thinking about shooting him, but... Uh, they talked you out of it. Yeah, he was... Timing would have been bad. It would have been tough to get him from where he was to the airstrip with uh, coordinating everyone getting out of, out of the field, so... Decided to give him a pass, but good news is, is tomorrow starts the actual caribou hunt in a different area. So you'll want to tune in tomorrow for sure to see that. Got lots of comments. A lot of re good response. To, everybody's to positive. Yeah, every, everybody's um, leaving good comments and uh, we read all of them, like I said, the last couple of days and we appreciate all of them. Ton, um, tons of comments about the rangefinder. Did it, did it make it? Oh yeah, the, the rangefinder from the previous day it did it uh it took a long long tumble it was just one of those we jay and i sat there and watched it roll and roll and roll and we thought it was a goner but we still had to pack our sheep out ended up going back around jay found the the rangefinder and redeemed it, himself it worked yeah it was, yeah still works got some comments um, uh chris willard asks uh what would you say is the most valuable piece of gear or equipment that you had on this trip film was great loved the raw short film the raw form of film because we're uh i think we're talking about doing just a whole separate gear discussion of yeah. gear in general that we use for all of our hunts and how it changes yeah for sure um give you the opportunity to win some of that gear man i've got to think about that that's there's a lot of He's gonna dump pieces. out his pack and just yeah. be Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers was a big one, but no, like Sam just said, we're, we'll do a separate video on all. The, we've had a lot of gear questions um, from from clothing to the rifle to everything. So cameras, packs, everything. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll do that really quick. Probably maybe even today. Oh, another thing we want to do. We want to thank Doug. Doug was a pilot in the the green and white plane and uh we heard that doug might be watching these so doug if you're watching just want to say thanks you're an awesome pilot made that trip so much fun jeremy too Je you know jeremy the outfitter that's his gray plane you see and uh 
Jeremy owns Rogue Expeditions, the whole outfit that we went uh, sheep hunting with. So those guys are great pilots. We also met, if you look back on the first sheep day, we met, uh, or we, we met at this little rendezvous airstrip and there's a couple other hunters there that we met. Um, Travis sent us an email saying it was uh, good to meet us and uh, we sat there and talked on the airstrip for a while. So uh, Travis, thanks for the email. It was awesome to meet you. If we make it back to, up to Alaska, we're gonna take you up on those beers and uh, and hear about your sheep hunt. Uh, I know we talked about it on the airstrip and we heard through Jeremy a little bit how yours went, but uh, we'd love to hear some more. So thanks for the email, Travis. Other um, comments, it was, uh, I was trying to find the one. Then another guy asked, uh, he saw two falls on the on the film and asked how many times did we or did they fall in real life? Oh man, it's countless. <laughs> the, the, yeah, staying upright was the hard part. Uh, I think we put a couple of those falls in there, but there was a lot, a lot more of them. And I think he'd asked how we, uh, what camera that was, and it was a, yeah. on my trekking pole, my walking stick. I had a GoPro attached to that, so. That's probably half the reason I was falling, because I had one trekking pole down and I was trying to film with the other trekking pole with the GoPro. But that's how it is. And it's it's hard to portray how steep that country is. It's, uh, you know, the cameras don't always do it justice. If you look back on when Jay's ram fell, I mean, it just wouldn't stop rolling. That, that'll give you a decent idea how steep it was. But uh, yeah, that scree is some de different stuff too. It's, uh, it's it's rock, but it's kind of soft under there. But it's kind of hard to stay upright. But another comment, um, Phil Kramer, he says, love the truth and transparency in this film. Would have been simple to edit and make it look like everything went down smooth and according to plan. Huge kudos for showing the truth and what was an unbelievable outcome. Uh, keep rolling fellas. Congratulations. Phil, um, I want to throw you a organic shirt. So well, you Phil. send us a message. Thanks for the comments. We're going to be picking someone every day throw it in the mail to, to, you. to, to uh, give a shirt to. So again, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button. Ask more questions. Yeah. It's, we like the questions. So feedback's been awesome. All right. Thanks again. See you next time.